Okay, so this is a quick video on how to install AutoCAD architecture on Windows 8 computer. So as you can see right now, I'm on Windows 8. I have a Metro Tiles or whatever they call it. Um, if you try to install um, an Autodesk program that is not supported, as it says here. So if it's on one of these programs and you try to install it on a Windows 8 computer, you're going to run into some kind of problem. So for Windows uh, eight, not Windows eight. For AutoCAD architecture, it's the problem is that it will try to install Net Framework, and Windows eight already has it, so it won't let it install, and um, it'll it'll tell you installation fail and stuff like that. So if you download the architecture from um, Autodesk from the web, so you don't have a physical copy, you'll get this. Uh, you'll have to run it, and it'll extract itself into your. C drive, Autodesk folder, and it will be right here, AutoCAD architecture. And if you have a physical disk, like a CD or DVD, then you'll have to copy out all your files into a folder and then modify the files in that folder. So I've already uh, extracted all my files from this thing I downloaded from Autodesk. So go into your AutoCAD architecture folder that's in your C drive, Autodesk folder. And if you run the setup right now, um, it's not going to work because I already said um, it will try to install NetFrame, which uh, Windows 8 won't allow. So, okay, so um, doesn't really matter what the settings are, but you'll see that the first thing they try to install is NetFramework 4.0, which is already included on a Windows 8 computer. So when they try to install, this will pop up. So if you press the uh, view, view the installation log file, scroll down to the very bottom, it will tell you that failed installation aborted and the problem that caused it was Net Framework. Now because Windows or Windows 8 already has Net Frameworks, so what you have to do is enable it from um, Control Panel. Um, from control panel you have to go into programs turn windows feature on or off and then make sure you check the first one that says net framework 3.5 include net 2.0 and 3.0 and then check the other one that says net framework 4.5 this net framework 3.5 and net framework 4.5 has to be checked so just press ok and then it will run a bit and it will tell you that you know, feature enabled whatever and then go into your setup.ini file here you're going to go look for the word keywords net so control F to open the find dialog so this is not important so you have to click it a few times so okay here we go so you see how it says prerequisites so what it requires it requires iess2.net whatever so from this part from .net you're going to delete all of them until the last .net so you can see .net 2.0.net .net 4.net .net 4 language dot four, dot .net whatever so you're going to delete all of this and you're going to keep looking for it until you have deleted all the dot nets so stuff like this dot net begins leave these if you delete these um, you might have an error where it says you know something's missing and then the, your setup won't run so now that you have your setup.ini file edited, press save, close it, and run setup.exe again. And this time it should install the programs without asking you for net frameworks. So as you can see this time, once I've uh, checked my options and press install, it doesn't run um, net frameworks anymore. It just goes, uh, bypasses the net frameworks and goes directly into DirectX runtime and all other stuff that's required. 
Okay, so as you can see now that it's finally installed, I can actually run it and it wouldn't have any problems. So as you can see here, everything opens up, everything runs. It's a bit laggy because you know I'm running it on the first time. But you know, everything works. So yeah, that's how you get AutoCAD architecture on um, Windows 8.